Hi dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important very short answer question in the chapter of motion in a plane. Most important question, let's go for that. The question should be like this, this is the most important children. When two right angle vectors of magnitudes 7 units and 24 units, what is the magnitude of their resultant? So what he was given? two vectors he was given how they are right angle so they have magnitudes what what are they seven units and 24 units what you have to find we have to find out the magnitude of their vector their resultant so this is the one vector and this is the another vector so what he was given the angle should be given there right angle that's why angle is 90 degrees so what you have to find out so for example, I am taking this is the P and this is the Q. So P value how much is given? 7 units. And Q value is what he was given? 24 units. 24 units. So now what you have to find out? We have to find out the magnitude of those two vectors. So that's why here simply we have parallelogram law of vectors. That formula is here R is equals to under root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta so he was p is given 7 units and q is given 24 units so that's why here we are going to substitute r is equals to p value is what 7 7 whole square plus q is what 24 whole square plus 2 into 7 into 24 and how much they were given angle angle is 90 degrees that's why here we already write cos 90 so already we know cos 90 degrees is equals to what 0 that's why here simply we are going to write r is equal to under root of 7 square means what 49 plus 24 square means what 576 plus 2 into 7 into 24 into 0 so this term becomes will 0 then r is equals what 49 plus 576 so 576 plus 49 625 so that implies r is equals to under root of 625 so what we know 25 25 is r 625 that's why r is equals to what 25 units so this is the the length of vectors 7 units and 24 units.